so Ether Channel, um, before configuring Ether Channel up to eight links potentially, um, connect all links and configure for the same attrib attributes as well as the same channel group. Um, so again, the interface range command, very helpful uh, on switches in general. Interface range, fast ethernet zero slash one through eight, uh, speed 100, and then channel dash group, your group number, in this case three, mode on. Um, then the logical interface can be used to configure items such as duplex for all interfaces in the bundle. So you've created the, the logical channel. So if you jump out of configuration mode there, and interface port dash channel, and then the same port number or channel group that you had here, in this case three, jumps you into the interface configuration mode just for that, uh, that ether channel. And you can set duplex full for the full channel. So moving on to rapid spanning true protocol, RSTP, um, port fast, uplink fast, and backbone fast are Cisco proprietary, but IEEE realized that those are really important additions to the, the STP um, setup for switches and created an open RSTP 802.1W standard which uh, implemented those improvements along with an updated algorithm for faster convergence. Uh, RSTP uses the same election process for root bridge, root ports, and designated ports as STP. Uh, RSTP is also backwards compatible with uh, STP, but any STP switches will not enjoy the full improvements of RSTP. They'll still be limited to uh, the functionality that STP has. <clears throat> so RSTP port states and roles. Um, well, your, your blocking and listening states are now represented by the discarding state. Uh, this is the same in that they do not forward frames, but they still uh, can receive BTUs, BPDUs. Um, the learning and forwarding states have the same functionality, so you've you know, effectively wiped out a single state. And then uh, two additional port states were created based on the uplink fast principle. Um, your alternate port and your backbone port. Uh, the alternate port is a discarding port with the second best path to the root bridge. Um, it becomes the root port if the current root port uh, goes down. Um, and then the backup port is a, a discarding port that becomes the designated port if the active uh, designated port fails. Uh, occurs when you have two written ports to the same segment but not necessarily to the root. Um, so basically taking the the, the space of your your uh, root port and your designated port as secondary subset of those in case the link fails. Um, so right here we've got a a switch network of three switches. At the top here you've got your um, your root bridge, which if you look at the uh, the bridge IDs of each of these, thirty two seven sixty eight on each B and C, we've got a, a lower value priority of four thousand ninety six on this one. So it's going to be the, the designated uh, root bridge. Um, and then you've also got your, your root ports between um, the root bridge and B and C right here. And so obviously the designated ports on the root bridge is going to be anything connected to a switch. And then you've also got your, um, your additional ports for alternate and backup port switching scenarios. Um, so you know, C, you've got your backup port here to a discarding port on B. And then on B, it's got its alternate port to get back to the root bridge, so alternate here, designated on this side. Um, RSTP link and edge types. RSTP links take on different roles um, based on the, the types. So link type point to point is connections to other switches, and it's always going to be running in full duplex. Um, link type shared is connections to hubs, and hubs are always running in half duplex. And then edge type, which is going to be links to end user devices or anything but switches or hubs. Um, so RSTP reaction to topology changes is affected by these link types as well. Uh, BPDUs and topology chains. In STP, only the root bridge generates BPDUs unless a topology change occurs. Um, but in RSTP, all switches generate BPDUs. So these BPDUs are used as keep alives if three are missed, uh, two seconds uh, each time, six seconds total for three missed, the switch is considered dead. Um, traditional STP would have waited 20 seconds, so you've, right there you've cut down 14 seconds of possible waiting if uh, a switch goes dead. 
if the topology change if, if the topology change occurs, the switch sends the TC into all switches instead of just the RU bridge, which was the case with STP, um, which would then notify all other switches in an STP environment. In this in this case, rather than uh, having that that intermediary step, this uh, the switch that notices the change just sends that change to everybody instead of just the RU bridge. And that wraps up uh, chapter 14 for enhanced switching operations.